Hey guys and welcome to a new video in this deep learning tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about the Hawk and Face pipeline. So in the last video, we just had a short introduction to the Hawk and Face framework. We went into the website, saw like what is this framework actually like cable of, and then we just talked that through, saw some of the documentation and so on. But this video here, we're going to cover the Hawk and Face pipeline and see how we can actually like use models like pre-trained models very fast and very uh, very easily. But first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos are actually like subscribed to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also come remember the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you're a member of the channel, I can help you out in your own projects. If you have some problems, I can help you out and give some guidance if you're a member of the channel. So thank you guys. So in this video here, we're just going to jump straight into Google Colab and then we're going to see how we can actually like use this pipeline from Hawk and Face. I went over the documentation in the last video, so definitely check that out. First of all, we need to install the transformers and the data sets from Hawk and Face. So put the pipeline function here is actually like the easiest way to use a pre-trained model for a given task, as I already, already mentioned in the last video. So basically, we just need to specify in this pipeline function what model do we want to use, and then we just pass our input into our pipeline, then we'll get the output and then we can uh, process that afterwards. So here we're just going to run the blob code and then we'll pip install the transformers and also the data sets because we're going to use that throughout this video here. The pipeline here supports many common tasks out of the box so we can use it for like text, images, like different kind of like natural language processing uh, tasks. We can also use it for audio as you can read here. So we can use like do it for like sentiment analysis classify the polarity of a given text. So we want to classify it if this text is positive or negative. We can do like text generation in English. We can generate text from uh, from a given input. We can do like uh, both summarization. We can do translation. So if you want to translate between different kind of like languages, you can also do a summary. So you can basically just take a whole text uh, of maybe like hundred lines of text. You can just pass that into our model and then it will make a summary of that text and you can actually like specify how long do you want that summary to be and then you'll get, just get an output of uh, or like you, you just get a summary out of that text uh, that you passed through the model. We can also use it for images so we can use it for image classification, we can also use it for segmentation and update detection. We can also use it for audio so we have both audio classification and also speech recognition which can be used for a lot of different kind of applications and again the cool thing about this Hawk and Face framework is that we only need to call this pipeline function here. We can play around with it a bit more. We can have some more like settings that we can play around with if we go in and use some other different kind of classes. But I'll cover that in another video or like other different kind of videos because we can actually like do a lot of stuff with this Hawk and Face without writing that much of code. We just need to know like how it works and how we can set it up. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you know when I upload those videos in that tutorial. So here we're just going to see how we can actually use this pipeline. So from the transformers that we just pip installed, we can import the pipeline and then we can basically just set up a classifier. So we just set that equal to the pipeline function and then we just specify what classifier do we actually want to create. And then in this example here, we're going to set up a sentiment analysis. You can also do classification or all these other different kind of like um, all these other different kind of tasks that is shown up here at the top. So we're going to create sentiment uh, sentiment analysis here. The pipeline here downloads and, and caches a default pre-trained model and a token, tokenizer for sentiment, uh, sentiment analysis. And then it, uh, you can actually like specify your own models, but if you don't spe specify anything, it will just like choose the default uh, pre-trained model, which is always uh, good. And if you don't like really know what you're doing and if you don't want to use a specific model, you should definitely just go with the default one. So here we're just going to run this blob code so we can actually like create our classifier. And then we download it and we cast a default pre-trained model. Then we can basically just have our, our classifier down here at the bottom. We also download and, 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 and caches the tokenizer. So a tokenizer is basically just how we take our data. Then we create a, a token from that data. So basically we're just converting our data to tokens because tokens, uh, we're using that to actually create embeddings. And then we can pass those embeddings in as uh, the input to our transformers. So here we can see that we have downloaded all these different kind of things. So we use a PyTorch model. We also have a tokenizer and we have a vocabulary for our tokenizer. So these are all very pre-trained models and also both the models is pre-trained and also the tokenizer. So here we have a classifier. We can basically just pass in some text that we want to do sentiment uh, analysis on. So basically we just have this line of code here. We just write this line of code and then we just have our classifier. We pass in the text and then we'll get the output here under. 
So basically, we're just going to run the flower code and see the results. So first of all, we get a label of if, if this text is actually positive or negative, and then we also give a confidence score of like how certain are we that this is actually like a positive text or like some different kind of like messages um, and so on that we're analyzing. So here the text says, thanks a lot for watching the video, really appreciate it. It says it, this is positive and it has a really high confidence. It is really confident that this is actually like a positive uh, text that we're passed into our classifier. Again, it is probably like when we're using the attention and the transforming mechanism, it is actually like attending to some specific words and words, and then it uses those to do the classification. So here the transformer is probably like attending to things and also like maybe watching and, and also appreciate and really, uh, really appreciate it. This is act like positive words. And then it thinks that this act like a positive uh, sentence or like text that were passed through our classifier. Down here, we can actually like pass in more than one sentence. So you can basically just have an array or like multiple arrays of text that you want to classify. So let's say you have like a whole text or you have like just uh, different different lines. Maybe you have like a, a lot of different kind of like emails. You just want to do sentiment analysis on all those emails to see like if they're actually like positive or negative. Then we can basically just have the results here with equal to the classifier. Then you just um, throw in an array here with all the with all the sentences that you actually like want to do predictions on. And then it just returns um, a list of dictionaries as well, where you can go in and get the actual like uh, labels and also the confidence score. Then we can just have a follow running through all the results that we have. Then we can print out the label and also the score. So here we're just going to run a lot of code. We can see that the first text is thanks a lot, guys. This is a positive text with a 99% uh, 9 confidence score. And then here at the, uh, at the end or like the second sentence that we pass through the model is this video is not cool and it says that this is actually like a negative uh, sentence that we're passed through a model with a really high confidence score as well so again here we're probably attending to thanks and here over here to right we're probably attending to not cool so if we act like just delete this word here so if we just have this video is cool then we should actually like get positive down here in the label so now we get positive top positive again with a really high confidence score so again if we just add not here so cool in the other example here with positive it is attending to cool but here it actually like takes in not cool as well because that actually like plays a huge uh, a huge difference when we're talking about like if we should do sentiment analysis so that's it for this video here guys we've been through like how we can set up the pipeline with the hawk and face framework uh, in google collab so we're, we did this sentiment analysis where we can act like a label or like we can classify if uh, if if a text or like if a sentence is actually like positive or negative, this can be used for a lot of different kind of things. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to cover more of these different kind of like tasks that I showed you up at the top. So this is just to get started with this Hawk and Face framework, how to set it up and how to just get started and set up this really easy classifier with only a couple of lines of code. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently also doing this deep learning tutorial where we're talking about like the basic theory behind like deep learning, neural networks, how we can train neural networks, how we can create our own neural networks and all those different kind of things with optimization regularization how we can do like uh, how we can train on neural networks and so on so if you're interested in that tutorial i'll link to it up here or else i'll see you next video guys bye for now